Hi, this is Dr. Steve Graves from the CSUN, California State University at Northridge Geography Department. This is a video in the video tutorial series. This one is dedicated to helping students learn how to download data from the U.S. Census Bureau in 2023. If you're seeing this in 2024, 2025, uh, the Census Bureau has an unfortunate tendency to update their website and uh, rearrange everything every, seems like every few weeks. So use this video with some caution. Go to uh, a search engine. I'm using Google and Google Chrome, but it should work in virtually any browser. Type in US Census. And just then click on the top link here. Click on data and maps. And this appear this window should appear in this website and click on go to data.census.gov. Note the URL. You can go directly here if you want. Um, click in this window and either select use advanced search or just collect click on advanced search here this brings you to the advanced search tool what you need to do here is um, understand the options available to you by searching for uh, codes surveys geographies topics Sometimes in the past, it seems like the sequence in which you um, select from these uh, filters determines which things appear for you to download. So for this assignment, for this exercise, we'll click on years first. And we're going to click on 2020. Note that 2010 2000 and 2020 those are the decennial every 10 years census and those are the most robust data sets that we have these intervening years uh, you will be selecting data collected from the american community survey which sometimes is more uh, current and useful but also has data accuracy problems because it's a sample rather than the attempt at the full count so select 2020 and then go to geography click on geography and for this assignment click on census tracts we want to get data for all the census tracts in los angeles county so click on that select california from the list of options and select los angeles county now if you're tuning in from another county or uh, just want to give this a shot with a smaller population, choose something like Fresno or Butte or one of the uh, Kern County. Uh, Los Angeles County is uh, quite large and it represents a more burdensome download. It shouldn't be too bad in 2023, but if your internet connection is particularly slow, you may want to try something different. So. LA County, click on that and then uh, select all census tracts within Los Angeles County. Note that now your filter selection box over here has two things in it. Next, we're going to select from the topics list. So click on topics, click on race and ethnicity, and then select race and ethnicity, just this box here at the bottom. Uh, which is the most general category. It will include data about uh, the other, the groups here. And at this point, um, all you have to do is click in, on the search the button, which is in the lower right hand corner. This gives us a list of tables that include general data about race and ethnicity. And we're going to go with uh, P2 here which is from 2020, the decennial census, and it will be robust and in fact, uh, probably a little more data than we need, but it's always easier to get more than we need and delete what we don't need than uh, to try to go back and cobble 
things together. So click on P2, which will activate this new screen. Because Los Angeles is a large county, that it will show us that the table is too large to display. And so what we want to do is to click on Download Table. It will already select 2020 and tell us the size. And all we have to do is click Download CSV. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values which is sort of a generic and basic version of a spreadsheet or Excel file. And Excel will open it, but also uh, Google Sheets and, and many other spreadsheet style or other data analysis tools will almost always open a CSV file. So I'm clicking it. My download um, window appears in the lower left here on Google Chrome browser, and it may be in the upper right or someplace else, depending on which browser you use. So it has downloaded and it's in the download window. I'm going to click here and open, or actually I'm going to click on show in folder, and this launches my file management program. And here's the file that I just downloaded. It is a zip file and so I can extract it by uh, clicking here and then extracting all which will unpack the file. The other way that I prefer um, because it's really quite quick is to double click on the file which opens it and allows us to peek in. Now here's some table notes. It's a text document that will tell us what is in the file and that may be of use or of interest to you and then this other file here at the top which you notice is small has the metadata and the metadata basically allows us to understand uh, what the column headers or the each of the variables in the data file are about most of it's self-explanatory, so we don't necessarily need to open that for this data. So I'm double-clicking on data, and Excel will open. Note that it's a read-only file here, and so the first thing that I want to do is to uh, save this somewhere. It's a temporary file, and I will just save it back in my download file um, as uh, LA County tracks ethnicity and I want to call it uh, save it as an Excel workbook because it then has more functionality and here we go click save and now it's open at this point the Census Bureau will notice that the Census Bureau has provided us with um, a couple of columns which identify the census tract and we have usable data or multiple columns and that's nice but unfortunately they've started adding a bunch of these null columns which have annotations about about the data and the vast majority of them are still null and so they they're really quite uh, annoying and one way to do to get rid of them is to click on uh, the D or the column, um, the, you know, I guess it's the column identifier. And all of these, we can just click on them. I'm controlling, uh, holding the control button down. And I'm going to delete quite a few of these and click delete. So I've gotten rid of these. Most of the data that I want are is in this first few columns anyway. Um, the top row, row one, I also find that generally not very useful. Um, you can keep it if you would like, but for our purposes, most of the time, you wanna click on this little box that has the one in it and then click delete. So you only have one uh, column of or one row of headers. 
let's go ahead and rename a few of these. This is uh, a few of these column headers. This is total for total population. So um, to pop, you can rename that. This is all Hispanics. This is not Hispanic population, everybody. And this is not Hispanic one race. <laughs> and this then is sort of uh, white, non-Hispanic. This one is black, not Hispanic, meaning these are folks that have a racial identifier that don't speak Spanish. Uh, this is American Indian, not Hispanic. This is uh, Asian, not Hispanic. This is Hawaiian and PI, Pacific Island, not Hispanic. And this is other, not Hispanic. And then this is everybody else uh, who are not Hispanic but is um, mixed mixed ethnicity or mixed race. So you might put this as mixed, not Hispanic. 177 people. This, all of the rest of this is not all that useful. And so you can either just ignore it or do what I do and uh, highlight it and delete it. And now you have a tidy uh, breakdown of ethnicity across Los Angeles, every census tract for 2020, and uh, that you can use uh, not only to analyze Los Angeles, but uh, very likely to upload for credit in your class. That's the end of this video tutorial.